I am here in Niš, Serbia, about to explore this very interesting city representative of southern Serbia. I'm with my journalist friends, Sasha and Jelena. If you speak Serbian, check out their website. It'll be in the notes below. These are journalists who really care about the truth, about giving you a balanced picture, introducing you to real places, and your brothers and sisters in this world. All right, let's go explore Niš. I remember the first time I traveled abroad by myself. I lived in Costa Rica and I was interested in going to Nicaragua. And a friend of mine led me to a Nicaraguan uh, butcher in a market to get some intel. And he starts waving his knife around, going about USA did this and USA did that. And my, my Spanish was really bad, so I had a hard time understanding him. But I remember thinking, what the hell did we do to you, man? I mean, I know about Vietnam, I know about World War II, I loosely know about the Korean War, but we didn't do anything in Central America. So look, I, you as the traveler, we had no power in a lot of the U.S. aggression around the world, but it is also important that we know about it and that we might encounter people that have strong opinions about it and to listen and be empathetic. These names are uh, the names of victims of plaster munition in one day. All these guys were killed at one moment? In yeah, moment, yeah, yeah, in a moment, yeah. Wow. It was a Saturday uh, on that day and people just uh, uh, was going to, to buy some vegetables and fruits and meat for the Sunday lunch. Then was bo bombing immediately. There was no warning. There was no warning. Uh, cluster munition uh, are very deadly mm. uh, because from one bomb you have hundreds and hundreds small shrapnels made to kill people, just only to kill people. Not a military area. Not a military area at all. And there's no military area in the n near uh, this place. Nobody don't know why niche so was targeted. Yeah. 2020 has been challenging for a lot of us. A lot of bad things have happened. It's easy to fall into the victim mindset. But imagine you're just hanging out in your neighborhood and suddenly a bomb drops. Or imagine this. Imagine you're a good Samaritan and you find a piece of the cluster bomb that has not yet detonated. And you decide you're gonna grab it and take it away from the other people. So you pick it up and as you're walking, boom, it explodes and you lose both your hands. Man, you could be a victim your whole life. You could let your life be defined by that terrible moment. Be sad and depressed until you die. Or would you? Vodio sam jedan vrlo buran i aktivan život do svog povrijeđivanja. I onda u trenutku se promijenilo sve. Više nisam bio onaj tata, otac koji je mogao da pomiluje svoju decu, da plešem sa svojom suprugom. I to je trajalo neko vreme dok nisam sve promenio iz glave. A sve to ne bi uspeo da uradim da nije bilo porodice i mojih prijatelja. What advice would you give to somebody who is dealing with some personal tragedy, some setback where they felt like they were a victim of something terrible, something undeserved? Sve ide iz glave, iz mozga. 
I uvek treba biti pozitivan. Uvek ima dobro u ovom našem svetu. Zoe Planet. Yeah, yeah. Zoplan. Yeah. You guys have animals from everywhere here. It's mainly like urban, right? Like animals found around niche. Uh, yeah, and not only niche, uh, all, all uh, surroundings as well. So Serbia. Probably. All Serbia actually. Oh. Because there are no uh, many associations taking care of animals like we do. We always, always wanted uh, and urged people to take good care of, of animals and this is the message that we were sending. So very quickly um, people started recognizing Zoo Planet as uh, one um, uh, big association and very important one uh, for this part of Serbia. So especially in Niš, everyone knows about Zoo Planet. How cool is that? From one guy's childhood dream to a reality, the whole community knows about it, so they'll bring an injured animal here, and kids with trauma can come and get pet therapy. Love covering a story like that. Inside this fence here is a monument to Constantine, who was born here in Niche, and as you might know, he changed the religion of the Roman Empire to Christianity. Luckily, a, a friendly construction guy let me in so I could get a nice shot of it. If you're a Christian, you should lay a wreath of flowers underneath Constantine's monument there, because next to Jesus and Paul, he was probably the most important character in the spread of the religion. In fact, if it wasn't for Constantine, Christianity could be a more obscure faith like Jainism. However, you also have to ask yourself, how did Christianity change at that moment? As it is said, when philosophy meets power, it becomes religion. Philosophy is about your direct connection to the divine. Power is about funneling your money and your attention through representatives to get you to the divine. What might have Christianity been before Constantine? Constantinople, Istanbul? Correct. Correct, that is the shortest route uh, from the um, uh, Western Europe to the Middle East. Civilizations fought for this um, most important strategic point in southeast of Europe. Alexander the Great, uh, Romans, uh, Crusaders, Byzantines, uh, Ottomans, Germans, all big civilizations wanted to control uh, this road. This very spot? Yes, this very spot, the Sicevo Gorge, it's called Sicevo Gorge. It was also the route of Silk Road. It went all the way from China and the Middle East to the Western Europe. Uh, even today, on the bottom, uh, you have skeletons uh, and all artifacts from the East. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. You think there's some treasure down there, too? Of course, there is a treasure, but um, it was not looted yet because you need a modern uh, gear, alpinistic gear, to descend. It's very steep, it's very steep. So. I have some back in California, man. I'll come back. Yeah. Let's get rich. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we can share. <laughs> Famous Roman bricks uh, from the late third and the beginning of the fourth century. I would have just walked 
right past that pile mm -hmm. of rocks yeah. Yeah. and not even recognized it. Yes. You have markings of the legion. Oh, the Roman shit. Yes. Uh, families who lived here were safe from uh, big animals from prehistory like cave bears, tigers, lions who roamed this area and their skeletons were found uh, around here. The skeletons of... Skeletons of prehist big prehistoric animals. Wow. Much larger than present day bears and lions. troubling year with all the chaos. If these guys who lived here had a dream one night or a conversation around a fire of what they would hope for humanity, how would they have hoped we would be living? How would they hope we would be getting along and sharing and being kind to each other and living in some kind of affluence? And are we living that way? Deep thoughts. <laughs> if you would have come to Nish around the year 1810, this would have been the main path into town. And as you walk this path, you would have been confronted by a truly horrific sight. Every single one of these holes would have had a skull in it. 952 Serbian heads in total. This tower of skulls now protected inside glass and honored inside this chapel was on open display for visitors to niche. A reminder to not do what these Serbs did, which was try to liberate themselves after four centuries of Ottoman rule. It was the first Serbian uprising, which ultimately ended in defeat, but not an easy victory for the Turks. You and I have probably faced some difficult decisions in life, but probably not on the level of this commander. His attempt to liberate this area from Ottoman rule is not going well. He's outnumbered. He's fended off three waves of Turkish attacks and his number of men are dwindling. So what does he do? He lowers the defenses. He allows the Turks to pour into the trenches where fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat begins. You can see some of this damage on the skulls bullet holes, sword strikes. He takes his gunpowder reserves and shoots into them. Kablam! The whole thing goes up. Obviously he and his men die, but it is a terrible setback for the Turks and makes a martyr of them all, a symbol of the resistance, which eventually leads to the second attempt at Serbian independence, which succeeds. leave a city and its people who with winter coming in a year of uncertainty approach it as they have all things in history with resilience camaraderie and a deep sense of who they are this is niche <laughs>